Hello everyone, we are here to do some Zenless, Ze Zenless Zone Zero content. So, uh, this is like a thing that I want to state on my progress of the game. So, it's been more than a month since Zenless Zone Zero has been released. I believe the last time I made a video is about Zuyu 1 and my plan on Jane Doe. So, yeah. I just want to make uh, something elaborately perfectly clear on the progress ko on my Zenda Zone Zero account. So, if you're not familiar with me, my name is Harriet. I am a Viva Max uh, reviewer. You can say content creator. Na rin. Uh, we're about to reach 8,000 subscribers. So, if you want to contribute, join the movement. Join us, the Yetaholics. Yeah. Yeah, like chaos, like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon for more of your Vivo Max review. Pero, but sometimes I tend to debate away, branch out, and I used to be a Decidia Final Fantasy Upper Omnia content creator, and and I am trying to reach out. So I'm doing my best on some Hoyo games. Uh First of all, I want to discuss regarding Genshin Impact. So, I am making some progress on my account. I just uh, beat the Archon Quest for Mondstadt. And I'm doing like the d loop Batman side quest. Just to get myself to AR level 23. So, I can proceed to Liyue. The reason for that is I have a guaranteed 5 star. Because I lost the 50-50 to the Luke when I tried to pull for Nabia. And I want to complete, to do at least a full Archon team. My Archon team in Genshin is comprised of Benti. I know his age. I know his age. I'm sorry, but I don't have Zhongli. I don't have Nahida. But I do have Raiden Shogun and what's her name? Farina. So Hydro Archon, Electro Archon, Animo Archon. Let's get the Pyro Archon, Mavoika, yeah, to complete the party. I hope Mavoika is a DPS. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be in Natland by the time of her release. But at least I can get some Primos along the way when I'm progressing to Genshin Impact. Just to ensure the uh, just in ensure that I have enough to pull for Mavoika. Okay, so let's go to Zenless Zone Zero. I have... This proposition for Zenla Zone Zero, and it's something that is out of the ordinary, something that can be a bit bad if you look into it, but at the same time uh, being good in its concept, and it is anomaly. So I'm highlighting Grace Howard over here. Uh, Grace is an anomaly unit electro electric anomaly unit i'm currently building her up her anomaly efficiency this is my uh it's my current loadout for grace uh, disable exclusive skin attack no i don't know what that's what that does but yeah i mean grace has the assets to feature anomaly and she is like the my first ever uh unit that i pulled on the discounted banner what? i do have ju you want she's my first ever limited unit but she's on a different team she's with andy and nicole that's her second team and my tertiary team is another anomaly unit piper and Corin, I actually I actually like Corin. So if I have the time and investment and the money, I don't have any zenies. Time, money, I can invest on Corin and I can invest on Lucia Domen Montepio. But that's not the case. We're talking about anomaly. The next character I'm I'm going to try to pull is named Jane Doe. It's the rat that we've seen in the story in her in that undercover R&B. 
And my current team for J for Grace over here is Grace, Rina, and Anton. And I plan to replace Anton with Jane because Jane's passive is if she is with Neps. So Hoyo marketed marketed it without any spoilers. They were pretty good at it. I even caught I even got caught with their marketing because they market Jane as factionless. Albeit in part of the story, it is then revealed that she is, in fact, part of the police force. So Jane is strong with Neps. Officer 148. And, and an anomaly. She So her passive could trigger with an anomaly or a part of the Neps team. And who do we have as an anomaly? We got Grace. And if I want to expound Jane, I could go and team her up with Ju Yu Wan. But... I believe Ju Yuan's best partner is the one I'm skipping, which is Ching Yi. So that's right it. And by the time that uh, Jane arrives, I would have at least a pity. So I have to win the 50-50 for Jane. What, it, what I'm trying to establish right here is if I paired up Grace and Jane, it's going to be... An awesome team up. I can't wait to test, test that. I sure hope I win the 50-50. Because I lost the 50-50 to Ellen Joe and I got Rina instead. But it's but I think it's fate that I was brought in. I was given a Rina. Because Rina is pretty good. Pretty good support. Now, what do I mean by the title of this video of Avengers Anomaly? Well, they drip marketed one point. Two. And 1.2 has another anomaly unit, which is uh, Burnus. So, Burnus is... Let's see what she does. I don't know if her... Okay, Burnus. Her core skill isn't really, <laughs> yeah, I wish she's not really displaying anything, right? Well, anyway, Bernice, I believe she will have the same passive as Jane, where you are an anom anomaly or you're in the same faction. So I can have like a triple anomaly team of Grace, Bernice, and Jane, or I can swap out Anton in my Grace team of Grace Rena and put in either Bernice or Jane. Jane could either then be branch out to a Zhu Yu Wan team, Zhu Yu Wan, and then I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna slot in Set and I'm just gonna slot in uh, Jane. And that's gonna be a Neps team. Yeah, because Set it will be along with. Uh, with Jane on the banner. So I'm more likely going to max out set while I'm pulling. Max him out Maxi Cinemas as much as I can. But that's uh the plan. And if I indeed pull for Burnus, I can slot in Burnus with Viper. Maybe re probably replace Corin and I can run a a full triple Sons of Caledon team. The key here to my account is going for anomaly growth. So I, I, I plan to have Grace, I plan to have Jane, and I plan to have Bernice. Keep in mind there are some speculated anomaly. Uh, there are other units that are coming. So if we go to, uh, let's see here, the Scott Outpost. Uh-huh. Uh, logistic shop. Let's see here. Yeah, this one. Yanagi. Based on her color scheme alone, I'm suggesting she is Eater. And she is indeed another anomaly unit. She's going to be part of the map. Part of uh, the plan. And there is this one unit where they call me Yapi. Where is she? Miyabi. Uh, Miyabi is not here, but she is part of the uh, 
Section 6 team. So, this is... I can't believe uh, Sokapu is Cinema 6. I did max out Sokapu. And sin yeah, and uh, as I pointed out, Sokaku is Cinema 6. If in any case, Miyabi and uh, Yanagi are not on the same banner, I'm going to pull for Miyabi. And there, and I got a really hunch that Miyabi is going to be an anom anomaly. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. I'm just here for super, for superstitions, for suspicion, uh, for opinion purposes. Because they they just released Ellen Joe, and if Miyabi is an ice, like they say, why would she be an attack? It will just power creep the first ever unit already. You know, I think if they rather have a uh, what you call it, if they rather have release a new ice unit and as a dps it won't be an attack it would be an anomaly so i'm thinking if they're gonna do miyabi they're gonna release miyabi she's gonna be a normally team and we can see an ellen miyabi and sokaku team in the future replacing like you know another thing is burnis is fire anomaly Okay, so if it's fire anomaly, I can have my planned. Uh, I have a planned uh, agent here. Yeah, this is the one that I plan on pulling just for the Bellabog synergy with Grace and Anton and even Ben Bigger. So I can build a Ben Bigger. That's Kaleida. She's going to be a, my uh, limited stunner. And I, I don't know if I should, should slot her. In the Ching Yi team, but let's see. Let's see what the uh, Palena does. What's her passive? I believe she's only fire. Her core passive is fire. Yeah, it's a uh, attribute or bug. It's fire Bella bug, so she won't hit any of her passenger. So that's an unfortunate thing. But the thing, but. I can slot in a Kaleida and then probably Burnus and then uh, I don't have an offensive fire. Or do I? Maybe Piper? Yeah, Piper for the disorder. And that would be a good uh, team, don't you think? Anyway, yeah, that's my Tencent. I'm going to build. The Avengers team of Anomaly units. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, it all works well. Just gonna pull for Anomaly units. And maybe I'll focus on other unit types as well. Like, support. Once I got the... I got the limited 5 stars that I needed. But that's gonna be it. Uh, sana magustuhan niyo yung opinion ko. I hope you like my opinion. This is just me telling what is my account update as of today, uh, August 18. I think it's August 18. Okay. Thank you for watching. This is the boy Harriet. Goodbye and good night. Bye.